Hello everyone, my name is Sam Wong from Finance and Analytics Services team, uh, which hope to, hope you enjoyed my last video. For those of you who have bought stock from last time I talked about, you should make a pretty good return of the stock that um, I kind of mentioned about the high tests and some of the high tests. As predicted, the debt ceiling discussion pushed through and resolved, and the earnings did the magic again. Many of the high tech and chip companies report better than expected earnings. CCL announced new beverages plan along with Apple announced the new product virtual reality. But um, I personally think uh, it's a bad move for Apple and not part of a matter in this space. Um, the Chinese stock Coel Yi Holding, 1415.hk, price has gone up from $4.50 two years ago. We're going to have this uh, going and thinking about Apple is interested in this product. And you, you really push it up to 2152 week high, but of course, after the announcement and the showcase, the stock actually slipped because there's a lot of commentators and analysts don't think um, you know the price of the virtual reality seems to be too expensive for, to set it as a 3500 uh, um, you know for each. So you still we have to see what what's going to happen. But my point for that is that there are a few stocks I've talked about may take off like this as well, right? But you still got to take time to see some of the stock. Really, it may take two or three years. If you look at Tesla, think about it. When you first started, it took five years and operating a loss to turn things around. And, and of course, it got down to thousands of, you know, of per share and then the stock split, right? And to mention about Tesla, just to mention that the statistically, uh, Elon Musk was very smart in the sense that really, uh, the price decrease and many people think it was a bad move. The market have been really hitting them bad. But for those who listen to my video, I said that's actually beneficial. You know, manufacturing setting that what happened is you incur a lot of overhead costs. So the mass productions and the volume is what driving the profitability. So obviously fair enough. Tesla basically was taking China as a testing point to see how much the price can drop in order to hit, you know, sales and people interested in buying the, the electronic vehicles. They're also going to have a new model coming up as well. So with the tax credit potentially um, in California, it's actually going to drive Tesla cars with the, we all understand the inflation and the shortage of chips causing the, uh, vehicles really in shortage driving price of even secondhand car. They were potentially going to have a cost of potential 26,000, 30,000 call really in reality for people to purchase. So having said that the stock really, if you look at this price curve, you were dropping really not long ago was dropping down really, really big time, um, you know, to really low, um, you know, just like barely over hundred dollars to all the way up to now $244. So, um, you know, for those who listen to my video at the time, you probably bought a Tesla when you would be around $150. And now it's at $240. You have very, very nice return in shorter than three months, if you think about it. And also, there's a really this look coming from Vendor Research with an average flow into US market 1.36 billion per day over the past week. We tell traders official back in the mix after a three month lure. So, that's having said that, you know, the market continue to face the momentum and really, really side. For the market, not just the high test, also you can see the stock going back up with the earnings that did in the way. Um, so I would like to point out a few examples to uh, Meta also reported declining advertisement in six last six months. The stock has declined to $88, uh, but yet you can see the really strong bounce back and return to now $265. Obviously, when the $88 people were not going to buy the stock, normally they panic and freak out, but you probably, you know, when the time I talk about the video, probably around $150, um, you really would got back to 260 You almost have 100% return. In this case, I bought a little late, so I only have 30% return on matter. Um, so Tesla was also similar behavior. Um, you know, again, the price was come dropping, um, really hitting very hot. Uh, you know, we want to feel strong. But the good news that, you know, how they have been strategically going to stack up with the future sales. Netflix was also at 265 range and coming back up to 420 as of 
you know, time. So it just gives you the idea that how strong the rebound and P ratio is still a little bit high, 45, but but really they did really excellent work with, you know, forecasting that you know, there's still a strong demand of people watching on stream, streaming, you know, videos and movies, and they have their own also a series, TV series that's very, deemed to be very attractive. Uh, Google was also from $90 to $125 lately, 25% higher in less than six months. I can go to continue on and on with stuff that very huge and yet returns even better than small chips. Uh, Lovely also another example that slump of roughly $150 to $387 lately due to higher than expected earnings. So having said that you really just trying to, you know, this is not new, but it's really time to really consider the back the market and invest. Uh -huh. So, but then you can ask, what are the favorable factors to drive the market over the last few months, right? Again, bear in mind, these are not new ideas. I've talked about it. If you have followed me and listened to my video a few times, you know that months ago, I already talked about this, these kind of factors, favorable factors. Presidential election. So the time flies and it's time again for the election year. Republican and Democrat Party will find ways to make the candidate best fit for the country and get you full for them. So then the economy is the reality. So one of the indicators of the economy, you know, there's a different ways to merge it, but it's also the health of the stock market. If you look at uh, Trump, the uh, presidential election over those eight years, you know, every time the market actually seems to be predictably driving up so that you're showing the market economy is strong to really for the candidate to claim for credit. Also, there's a lot of things that we'll talk about four years accomplish such a, uh, accomplishment such as um, you know, finishing of COVID, right? And really closing up, we open in the market sooner than other other country, you know, as, as US is the world leader. And so second, interest rate. The economic indicator, whether you agree or not, showing the slowdown of the inflation. So the, the inflation that really incredibly have, I mean, coming down, you know, months ago, if you go to buy eggs in the supermarket, you know, this price has gone down. So does the milk. But recently have gone back down a little bit, it's go back a little bit, it's still high relatively. Um, you also can look at some of the places um, that where you buy and shop for things like uh, vehicles, you start to be the pricing can slow down, drop down a little bit because of the better, um, you know, demand is kind of, just still really lack of demand, but but it's better than before. Um, there are also a couple other places and give you an example, you know, why, you know, why yes, inflation seems to be better place and well, but Okay, here's an interesting part. Even though the fear of in resections, most likely the latest article will say telling you that it is a corporate a credit crunch, the bank fail recently, the three banks have filed bankruptcy, really go to driving the credit crunch for corporation the harder, especially interest rate going up, uh, to really borrow money to finance their business. Yet the consumer spending is still very strong. Well, why? It's very simple, right? If you think about psychology, if somebody can tell me your money is not going to worth as much as used to be tomorrow, and bank is not safe to put the money into, what are you going to do? You can spend it, right? So you're going to buy. If you're going to go to get a gasoline, well, I guess you cannot store it, but let's say you buy some water at home, you drink distillation, distilling water. Today, selling you one dollar per barrel. You know it's going to go down to dollar, go up to dollar twenty-five tomorrow. Are you going to buy some more water and just put it at home? Yes, the answer is yes. So while economists have a hard time understanding inflation, is really they should need to, in my opinion, they should go by the basic, right? Sometimes we overlook, overanalyze. It's really a simple mathematics, a simple psychological impact. You know, media flooding with inflation. So what do people do? They trust the media. They just go and spend the money, buy more, and store it and put it aside, right? In particularly, really, it's so true that in a small item, it used to be a you know, dollar store, they call dollar. Now it's like dollar 25. 25% increase. For those who follow my video last time I talked to you, you go to the jet in the bus, buy two tacos. Now it's dollar 83. It was 99 cents plus test dollar and seven. That is 80% increase. So, a lot of things, small dollar in particular, have rise definitely over 50%. So that's why the life in Americans are very difficult. The other thing is Friday, what drives the market so well? 
because unemployment claims were higher, 261,000 versus 232,000, higher since October 2021. So that seems to be telling you that, you know, Fed have using two indicators to determine whether the rate is going to be continue rising, unemployment and inflation. And both indicators tell them Fed that if they're smart enough to say no, 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 right? So the other important part is if you're watching the news lately, they are actually U.S. Gov U.S. and Chinese government talking again. So that is very super critical. It is important that U.S. needs export and sell goods to other countries as well rather than just internal consumptions. And same with China, right? It needs cooperation, work with other countries for domestic growth, which is enabling of production of large productions that they have to sell over to the world, right? So if they're just really, really extracting internal business, it's not going to help them. So everybody, I think, come to acknowledgement that, that, again, that's a simple mathematics. So the other important part is bank. Of course, you don't hear news about the bank failing lately, but rich people are much richer than you and me, which means, you know, you only $250,000 guarantee your U.S. bank, but these people have a lot more money than that. So they cannot, and they don't have time to put in 10 different banks or 100 banks for their the money. So what, where are they going to put the money? Stock market. Because they're not going to buy it and put it in bond market. They're not going to do it in holding U.S. dollars because it's pretty, pretty much in devaluations. So all the setting, all this explanation, all these macroeconomic factors I just told you is really set the stage of success of the market continue to go up. And now you can go up to statistics and think about this too. Really interesting enough, last step. Really, if you compare to the all times high, which is not one year, but last few years, you still have 25% to go. Okay, Dow we actually very close up to this point. It really only 6% plus to go to hit the high point, which means lately, the last month in June, it was the market has been really rewarding Dow Jones industrial efforts and the market has been since the earning announcement was great and some of the companies and pushing it all the way up. And just bear in mind that again, if you listen to my video, you may, may you through sell, right? Sell and go away. And you did in the first, if you look at the couple, two weeks of the May in the Bicham, you can see the market actually going downward. However, in June, the good news coming, you know, with possibility of Fed stopping, speculation, Fed will stop really interest rate rising with all the good economic indicators uh, in the right directions. Uh, you really drive the market up. And also with the stronger earnings announcement and with quick news, a company in the right direction, uh, really with their business plan and growth, high tech is still very well received. And, you know, you really think about it, even if for those people who have children, understanding that, you know, the kids really play the cell phone more than anything as tradition. They don't necessarily play, play Barbie anymore, but really looking, they may play Barbie video games, but not the Barbie itself. So there's a lot of things to tell you, the market changes, this, this technology will be the future. And also in the banking industry, a lot of time, if you don't have the apps, you can't even activate a credit card in some countries. If you don't have the apps and really cell phone, you really cannot even get your bank to give you the confirmation code to withdraw money. So think about from that perspective, it just tell you there's no way to go wrong even high tech having gone up so much, right? Because it's just going to tell you that is the future. And having said that too, I would say this might be a good time to buy and wait for another quarter section ending along with Fed decision to stop the rate hikes. In short, I'll look at a few stop Tesla, Google, Pindodo. If China and Hong Kong um, and US government are talking again, things were in a good atmosphere. Pindodo had dropped lately for $102 down to $60. Now it's around 70 dollars It's a good opportunity. And one of the analysts saying and projecting Pindodo will go back on the $150 dollars and a little bit higher t spectrum of the target but you know you never know and robots i would think again next quarter they are saying they're very optimistic their possibility to turn things around to become profitable united airlines we're in the uh, travel season again so it's really favorable the company for, uh, in such a nature and maybe hotels right and, and gambling and casino industry that were driving more people to go and spend their money in that sector um, also, I would say 
you know, for longer term, I still believe that HYLN, even though the stock haven't been doing very well again, but I look at HYLN in a more longer term than things are. And if you look at just scaling back to last year around the same time, it's at 373. So, so there's a chance that you will be pushed back up double, go back to four dollars, and um, ultimately, I see this stock to be five dollars. And in the long range, if they succeed and they don't run our business like Bed Bath & Beyond, they probably, you know, in the long run, just like the other one I mentioned to you, they will be succeeded in the Hong Kong market and will go back up to ten dollars and about hopefully. And also Disney, maybe something to consider with the theme park. Uh, even though the streaming business is in decline and failing, uh, yeah, all it takes Disney is just one good movie. Just remember that there's always one great movie to save them. And then the XP EV, which is EV space that Tesla is really up quite a bit, but XP EV is still kind of behind the market at this point, so that's something to consider. And Apple, you know, Apple office, you wait for 2024, there will be the Apple car, so there will be another innovations, just like, um, you know, a virtual reality, we'll see how things shape up. I hope you like my video and it will help you to get some money and next time I'll probably report it early. Uh, another report around July. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful weekend.